So it seems like as of late, ADA has been a little bit more on the bearish side, right? And that's that's fair. Price has been moving to the downside, setting some new lows. And a lot of people think it's going to drop further. But what if I told you that right now ADA is actually primed for a bullish movement to the upside? Now, this isn't financial advice or anything like that, but there are some people missing a very important thing that is happening here on the charts. When we look at ADA, we've obviously been stuck in this descending cha- this descending wedge from the height of the bull market cycle for a, obviously a long period of time now. And it seems like, again, we may be setting some new lows. But what's actually playing out here is as we start to create some lower lows in this chart here, we're also creating some bullish divergence. We're actually creating higher lows when it comes to the RSI. This means that ADA may in fact have a bullish movement to the upside in the near term. Now, we don't know how explosive this can be. We don't know, you know, whether this will happen or not, but historically speaking, this has happened before. We look back at the end of 2022, the same thing played out. ADA working to the downside, creating new lows while RSI was beginning to climb, higher lows, right? And we know the explosive movement that happened at the end of, or at the start of 2023, okay? Same thing happened in May through June of last year. Okay, we had this, you know, creating new lows in terms of ADA seemingly falling to the downside while RSI was creating higher lows. Again, we had this explosive movement here. We ended up running from 41 cents all the way up to 60 cents. Actually, I think that was shortly after I started making content too. So I remember <clears throat> I remember catching that parabolic run and, and talking about that. But the thing is, is, the longer you go through this bullish divergence, the longer you have this consolidation, the more explosive movement to the upside you can make. That's where some people, I think, are missing this just a little bit. ADA is slowing down in terms of its falling. It seems like it's actually ready to make this movement to the upside. It's It hit the bottom, right? It hit 24 cents. The range has been a strong range of support for ADA, and it seemingly does not want to break below that right now. It means that, in fact, accumulation may rise. We may try to make a test at this top of the channel here. Now, whether we break through that is another question altogether. You know, we should have a very explosive movement, but we may pop up here. We may get rejected and consolidate further. It's tough to really tell right now because the market sentiment is, in fact, so rough. There's not a lot of great things going on for crypto. But know that times are, in fact, getting better. The halving is just around the corner. You can see how close we are on the charts right here. In fact, we may follow more of this, uh, more of this, you know, bullish side of this movement. I don't, I don't know if we're going to go down and, and hit this 17 cent level right now. The charts aren't necessarily showing it, guys. Okay, I think we may again kind of pop around in here before we start to make this movement to the upside to close out the year. So that's what I'm seeing in the charts. You got to pay attention to everything. These oscillators are important to know about. And right now, bullish divergence on a long term scale, we're talking three months, is a very big deal. So I appreciate you guys. I want to hear your thoughts about whether you think we're going to explode here to close out the year, or if you think we're going to end up kind of falling down, trickling, still continuing to follow this trend that we've been in. So I appreciate you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Show your support below. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.